right. Hello ladies and gentlemen and everyone else. Um, welcome to Ted's Boo Cellar. This is the premier alcohol review show here on YouTube. And um, I'm here today with, uh, for the first time, four guests in one episode. Um, and it's the first time, uh, I think it's the first time actually, where guests who've been on episodes before, but in like separate episodes, have then met together and like been guests all together on like a later episode. Crossover. Yeah, so um, so everyone's seen these lot before, but all of you introduce yourself. Oh, who's going to start? Yeah, Alice, just I can okay, start. Okay, I'll start, I'll start. Hmm. I'm Alice, and I work with Ted. <laughs> <laughs> that really, that's it. <laughs> I'm Alice, and I work with Ted for a year and a half. Okay, that's fine. Right. Um, my name is Owen, I, I work with Alice. No, you don't. Well, in some aspects, we work. We work together. You're, you're Alice's partner. <laughs> yes. <laughs> This is going. Go, go on! Get to move on! Oh, I'm sorry. And they're both called Owen spelt the same. Yes, they're both Anglo Irish. They're both Owen spelt the same. E O I N. Are you going to explain me anything further? Uh, maybe I will, Ted. I don't know. All right. This is what I was saying. Enough. Owen, there we go. Carry on. And then finally. Oh, hi. I'm Imogen. I'm Ted's friend. Also, I met him in a bar where we used to work together. We do not anymore. Um. <laughs> That's it. Right. Also, Imogen is uh, this Owen's uh, this Owen's partner. <laughs> I need to talk to you. Well, to touch my eyebrow. Cat. We have a cat somewhere who may join yeah. at some point. Butler is a complete dull dork, uh, <laughs> so you might see her uh, here and there. But anyway, for the second episode of Ted's Booze Cellar of 2023 and season four, we're going to be taking a look at a kind of drink that's always been a bit inconsistent on Ted's Booze Cellar, which is the old canned premix cocktail. Um, obviously, there was the Bloody Mary by Unknown Pleasures, the Sour Gin Vermouth Negroni by Moth, <coughs> and then another Moth drink which I did with Alice and um, uh, Background Owen, um, which was pretty solidly like a 3 out of 10. It was quite horrible. But today we're going to be taking a look at the at what feels like kind of a mashup of like all the different canned cocktails I've had on the show before, which is... Um, Blue Raspberry Soda with, made with vodka um, by AU Vodka. Now, I that's, that's quite expensive, that yeah. vodka. Um, yeah, so this, this premix can was about £2.50 in my local off-licence. Uh, oh. And it's 5% alcohol volume. Now, I really like the can, but everyone else, like pass it around quickly and tell me what you think. I have a question about the name. Yeah. Why is it called O? Oh. Because <laughs> if it was AU capitalised, I'd assume it stood for something. But the A is capitalised and the U is uh, lowercase. It's, it's the it's the it's a, it's periodic a, table for gold. A no, U it's seventy nine. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's quite cool. Oh, oh yeah, that's because, why it's gold. Yes. I also was <laughs> saying French, like, of, and I was like... And if you get large bottles of these, it has gold flakes in it. It does. Yeah. yeah. It does. Another fun fact about AU Vodka, brought to you by Charlie Sloth. Is it really? Charlie yeah. Sloth. No, no, no. Mm. Who's, who's Charlie Sloth? He's Charlie a, um, Sloth is a, a DJ. He's a BBC Radio on DJ. Oh, okay. Uh, and the vodka company. You know, Iron Maiden have their own brewery. I did not know that. Iron Maiden branded beer. You know, apparently Danny DeVito makes his own limoncello. Does oh, not surprise me. That makes so. perfect sense. Um, and was and, not and, the... and also Dan Aykroyd makes that wacky as hell uh, crystal head vodka. What's the guy, the Top Gear guys, you got... Wanker Jeremy Clarkson. Oh. Um, James Matt. James Matt, that's the one. He does his own gin things. Yeah. And there's um you go, there's there's a video series on YouTube if anyone's interested of James May and Richard Hammond currently they're so much older, it's weird. Um getting really, really drunk <laughs> on James May's gin and doing <laughs> things like playing I think it was trying to play chess oh, and trying to play Connect Four and like or just stuff like that. One of them one time they were like building things out of Lego <laughs> and they're shit face drunk. <laughs> and the video's like an hour and a half long. <laughs> if you want some like quality entertainment, there you go. James oh. G James May Gin. But I'll say right now for this, what do we think of the can? Uh, I like it. It's got a simplistic design with really striking colours. Um like the light blue of the blue raspberry and then the uh, gold is a really Pops. striking contrast yeah I think like the only way you could sort of make it stand out more and maybe like make the text a bit more visible is by making it orange which mm -hmm. is a natural contrast like yellow and gold I think but I generally think I'm going to say 
Uh, nine out of ten. Yeah, yeah, I really like it. I, I really like it. It could do with like a very thin border around the letters so that they're more li- like yeah. Li- li- I, I think it's a thin yeah. black border, yeah. Yeah, I, thin black border, but that does make me feel like I, I earn more than I actually I feel like, I feel yeah, like, I like this, <laughs> I feel like this is something you could see advertised on TV against a slow-mo cityscape background with smooth jazz being advertised by some uh, jackass football about, like, I don't know, Jerome oh. Boateng. It's Natalie Portman <laughs> just appears being that's, yeah. a, that's a niche footballer. Yeah. Oh, so he, yeah. wasn't, he wasn't a niche footballer. He played for Bayern Munich. <laughs> yeah, no, he I'm won not, the Champions I'm, League. I'm, I'm <laughs> <heard that laughs> right. How the I'm fuck did we get to a footballer doing an right. advert right. over right. a city with smooth jazz? <laughs> <laughs> right, let's have a quick sniff uh, before a if slow... Could, Owen, I just want to say one thing. I can get glasses. If you could emboss the lettering on the can... I think that would be the only way it could make it. Did you yeah. also get my that's a fair point. Uh, All right. Anyway, let's have a quick whiskey as a palate cleanser. No, I've got water as a palate cleanser. I've got whiskey okay. as an in between. Let's <laughs> have a snifter to see what the, uh, this initially feels like. Oh. Um. <laughs> you know <what's> wrong? <laughs> that's just really not positive. That is not good. Oh no, it's gone wrong. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh. Okay. <laughs> okay, that's pretty bad uh, it's basically imagine the nose I'm getting is uh, the, nose, the nose I'm getting is 10 year old blueberry Ribena Ooh, brilliant this is going well for me that's poured into a glass and then has crushed love heart sitting in the bottom wow that's terrible uh, so you give a snifter to it and see what you like <laughs> it just smells like a slushy a slushy? Like the blue slushies. Ooh, that smells nice. I'm not I'm not getting the but then again, I smoke cigarettes regularly, so I think my sense yeah. of taste uh, smell is kind of It smells like I'm twelve again. Yeah. It, it, I feel like I'm just <laughs> That's exactly it. with yeah, my mates. Just dr- drinking WKD. Like it feels young. like I'm gonna make a bad mistake at a house party. Yeah. 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 I either feel like a really young still somewhat innocent kid at like laser game yeah. like yeah it sounds like something slushy. i would yeah. vomit or <laughs> yes or it's something know, i would yeah. vomit <laughs> like something really really like sweet wow yeah fuck that's terrible that's, that's so a, bad it's really synthetic i think it, that's what i don't I, like. I think yeah. yeah it smells like it would come in a giant blue barrel and it would just yeah. say pain on the side I, yeah. I think, and it's nostalgic <laughs> but unpleasant yeah. i think yeah. i'm gonna have to say this is the first time since the um bloody mary I think I'm going to have to say this is the first time since the Bloody Mary canned one by Unknown Pleasures that I'm going to have to give the nose of a drink a zero. That is oh. fucking. Sorry, Ted. I've just I poured it. <laughs> Do you want to show that to me? What <laughs> the fuck is that? <laughs> oh, it looks exciting. It looks amazing. <laughs> that looks like the rainbow um, ice sours shots I reviewed back in season one. It looks Look at like that! A messy night. <laughs> what yeah. is that? Yeah, good stuff. This that is looks quite... fucking horrid. This, this is... looks rant. Do you know what I said? It smells synthetic. It looks more synthetic than it smells. Do you remember when um, Fanta did that thing where they tried to oh. make everybody guess the flavour? It was so bad. Oh my god, it was so and awful. It looks like this, oh, yeah. like exactly like this. Yeah. See, I think I have a natural affinity to blue alcohol because most of the absinthe I used to drink was blue. Yeah. So oh. I was masked, I see it, and I'm like, <laughs> the fairies, they're fizzy. coming. Why is it fizzy? When you put it in the glass, it actually smells worse. That in the glass, it, gl- does. it so, does. Yeah. Okay. In, in the can, really it was a zero out of ten for the nose. In the glass, it's like a minus one. Yeah. It blue, is a blue raspberry soda with vodka. So it's it's so rancid. Me of, um, vodka, something that my mum used to put on her lips. What? We not. No. Stop it! Did you take him? Shut up, all of you! This is anarchy. <laughs> You're not in charge, Ted. It's okay. It's my bloody show, <laughs> boy. Now on Audible. <laughs> yeah. Right. Sponsored by Prince yeah, Harry. Yeah, Palette Cleanser. <laughs> this video is sponsored by Prince Harry. <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> right. Uh, you know what, let's just... Uh, f- 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 uh, yeah. Bottoms up. Let's just go straight into it, actually. Cheers. 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 So that's the whole show. Let's see what this sucker tastes nice. like. Mm. Mm. Oh, It fizzes in the mouth. Oh, that's alright. I like that. It tastes like uh, a, ra- a ras- blue raspberry slushy that's been melted down. 
Honestly, yeah, I it does. Wait, sometimes so yeah. it melts. It I can't really. taste the alcohol at all. Well, no no alcohol. All yeah, it does. Do, it does genuinely just taste like a blue raspberry ribena. Honestly, I've never I will say I can right. very. I think it's very very <laughs> faint, but you can taste the alcohol a little bit. You know yeah, what? At the end, the aftertaste. You know, it's it tastes like rancid or yeah. like slushy. It tastes, tastes like something right. I drank as a kid. Mm. Yeah, yeah, like, like, bo- like something I would drink when I was like thirteen. Yeah, yeah, like it reminds me of the stuff I used to drink when I used to go to mates' birthday parties at the uh, bowling alley in Lewisham. This yeah. is really well marketed to our, our age group, I think. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's something I, I would ask yeah. my mum to buy me as a kid, but she'd be like, "No, it's far too unhealthy, and it has yeah. far too much sugar." Mm. Yeah. <laughs> I would. I would shop job for that when I'm 16. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Mm. So, definitely. Yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm gonna. I kind of. I, I, I actually would say that I loved that. Yeah. Mm. Okay. More. So. <laughs> so, yeah. so where'd you get it? So, so, <laughs> so, so, I'll, 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 I'll tell. Tiny, tiny bit. Like I'll tell you guys after I finish reco- re- the recording. But um, I will say right now, I'm getting. Yeah, genuinely just tastes like uh, some kind of like cheap like knockoff version of Ribena with like a slight vodka y blueberry tint at the end. Yeah. Really mm. it's weird actually because I don't think it's that amazing. But I will say it's got like the biggest like difference in quality of any drink I've ever reviewed between like the taste being good and the smell being bad. Because the smell this smells this might actually have the worst nose of any drink ever on Ted's Boosala. <laughs> <laughs> but I think when I taste it, honestly, I have to say it's about average. It's like not that bad. So I'd have to give the taste like a five and a half out of ten, honestly. I think I'd honestly give it an eight. Really? I'm I'm with you on that. I like it. I think, but I I like a sweet drink. I do like a sweet drink. Mm. I think, I will say, I I stick with my five and a half out of ten because I know my vodka being Anglo-Polish. But, um... Yeah, I mean, it's not that bad at all. If someone gave a can of that to me uh, and said, hey, do you want this? I'll be like, sure. Yeah. yeah. I think yeah. if I was sober, I'd rate it a five. And if I was drunk, I'd rate it like an eight and a half. Mm. Yeah, that sounds about <laughs> yeah. fair, yeah. I think yeah. if someone gave me ten of these and was like, you can have them for free if you drink them in 20 minutes, <laughs> yeah. I would 100% <laughs> yeah. drink them all in 20 minutes. I'm not saying I should, <laughs> yeah. you, but I would. You, were, you wouldn't die of... Um, you wouldn't die of alcohol poisoning, you'd just die of uh, uh, sugar, ca- overdose. Co- co- sugar overdose. Um, yeah. <laughs> I'd be so, like, on a sugar hide, mm. running around the what, whole What about thing. you, then? Um, I've, I've got mixed feelings. Um, on one mm. hand, it's actually really, really nice. But on the other, I really, really want to brush my teeth. Yeah, yeah. I actually um, get that. It's very sweet. Like, it's very, very sweet. I get, I get the feeling that the, the leftover Stella at all we've got will genuinely be enough to wash the whiskey it does wash it down quite well (laughs) Um, I'd probably give it overall a six okay I think that's Mm. fair so ranging between five and a half to eight to eight with like probably like a mean average of about six yeah yeah I think that sounds about fair it's not awful although that nose is spectacularly shit I also think five percent for a two pound fifty can is quite good usually those cans are percentage and much worse what did you think Owen in the foreground uh, Owen in the foreground thinks that it was it was okay I, I, I wouldn't go out of my way to buy it but I, if I saw it I'd be like give it a shot yeah. I think I'd much rather go for like the 89p cans from like um, Audi or the pound fifty ones from Sainsbury's where it's home, rate, home brand stuff and it's like gin with like pink lemonade or like vodka yeah. lime soda. I'd rather go for those because I could get more alcohol. And it's probably not going to be quite as strong, but it's going to be, I think, proportionally more enjoyable. Yeah, um, so yeah I, just, I agree. So I'd just say go for that. But if you want to pose with something fancy on Instagram, then yeah, probably get this, I guess. Um, but yeah, as always, uh, thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, leave a like, share and subscribe. If you have any suggestions for future episodes of Ted's Boo Seller, let me know in the comment section down below. And be sure to check out any of my social medias in the video description below when I uh, hungoverly remember to edit it in on my desktop. Uh, <laughs> half the time I record these episodes straight off my phone while I'm already drunk. But um, <laughs> Although actually, not all the time. Like most, vast majority of the time I... I, I when I review an episode of Ted's Booze, it's my first alcoholic drink of the day, usually. But, um, <laughs> not today. Well done, you. Today is not one of those days. Anyway, uh, but yeah, until next time, have fun, stay safe for whatever you're doing, don't do anything we wouldn't do, wash your hands, drink responsibly, know your limits, and we'll see you guys at the bar next time on Ted's Booze Cellar. Bye bye for now. So long.